everyone. Do you know that it's Math and Science Month? Well, it is. In celebration of Math and Science Month, we were tasked to make a headdress out of recyclable materials. Let's see what materials I have gathered in my house. Let's go! Okay, now I have all the materials that I need for my headdress. I found this illustration board that I used last year for my Filipino PT. This old headband that I don't use anymore will be the base of my headdress. I found these plastic spoon and forks that my mom collected from all the takeouts. We reused whenever we go camping or if we go on a picnic. So these are excess art materials that I used last year. You will notice that all of these are recyclable materials. I did not need to buy any other material. We should reuse our things instead of buying to reduce our trash. That way we can help take care of our environment. Now, Let's start working on my headdress. First, I will make my base of my headdress. materials. I can proudly say that I did not need to buy anything to make this well except for the spray paint. By using materials already found in my home, I was able to help reduce our trash. By less is equal to less trash. I simply reused my old headband an old illustration board to make the base and plastic spoon and forks. I also recovered the excess gems I used in art last year. So this is now the final look of my headdress. You will notice that I drew numbers on the gems on top. From zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. 
These numbers are all connected downward to different mathematical operations. We have addition sign here, subtraction sign, multiplication, and division sign. It is important to note that I arrange the different operations in a particular order because when solving a series of operations, we follow the MDAS rule, PMDAS rule, if the equations include a parenthesis. From left, we have P, which represents parentheses. M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. It is good to remember this rule so that we will always be accurate in solving equations involving a series of operations. Happy Math and Science Month, everyone!